Hey everyone, Brian here from the Protocase team with another Prototech tip. In this video, we are going to be covering welding and rivets. We are here to help get your projects completed by creating your custom enclosures and parts in as little as two to three days. Protocase is your one-stop shop, which means we offer a wide variety of services, including fasteners and rivets. First off, let's talk about welding. Welding can be used to solve a lot of problems, whether that is creating complex parts by welding pieces together to form a single part, adding strength to enclosure, and creating watertight joints. Some advantages of welding include durability, that welds are resistant to stress and vibration, creating seamless joints, and that welding can be used to join a wide range of materials. At Protocase, we offer different types of welding processes. They include seam welding, spot welding, fillet welding, tack welds, and plug welds. Let's go over each of them. First up, seam welding. The seam welding process is used to continuously join two or more pieces of sheet metal so that they look seamless. For the process of seam welding, the pieces are clamped and welded together, and then any excess metal is removed by grinding. Spot welding is a fast and inexpensive method for joining two pieces in one or more spots. The spot welding process gives you little trace of the joint in your design. The third welding process is fillet welding. Fillet welding is the process of joining two pieces together when they are perpendicular or at an angle. This weld includes two pieces of metal perpendicular to one another or lap joints, which are two pieces that overlap and are welded at the edges of the metal. Before we continue with the other two welding processes, I just wanted to mention that if you would like any more information on any of these options, what metals are compatible with welding, or to see any size restrictions, be sure to check out our website. That link will be in the description below. Next process is tack welding. This is done in the same manner as seam welding, but just in discrete segments. Tack welding is mostly used as a first step for positioning and securing of metals for welding. The last welding process is plug welding. Plugs are a round weld slot that is made inside of an existing cutout and is most commonly used when welding one piece of metal to another. This is done by creating a cutout in one of the metal pieces and then welding them together by filling the hole and buffing off the excess. Okay, so that was the welding processes. Let's move on to rivets and talk about using rivets as opposed to welding. Rivets are mechanical fasteners that consist of a cylindrical shaft with a head at one end and a tail on the other. Rivets can also be used to attach smaller components to a larger assembly. Rivets can also be used to join two faces of a single part together to create rigidity. Let's go over the installation process for rivets. A rivet is seated inside of a cut hole in the metal that was used by our laser cutters. Then a blind rivet tool pulls the mandrel against the hat of the rivet. The mandrel then bulges and makes the edges of the rivet expand down towards the material. This results in a rivet that is now installed in the hole. Advantages of using rivets consist of providing a strong and permanent joint. They do not add any significant weight to any structure and are easily installed and very cost effective. Here at Protocase, we stock both domed and countersunk rivet options. Dome rivets have a slightly rounded top that will have a raised profile from the metal surface. They are mostly used for maximum clamp up and hole fill. Countersunk rivets are similar to other countersunk flathead fasteners in that the rivet will have a flush surface with metal and it will provide sufficient clearance for moving parts which pass over the rivet head. So to recap, overall while both welding and rivets have their advantages, their suitability depends on specific application and the materials being joined. For example, if you're looking for an air or watertight enclosure, then seam welding is going to be your choice because it fully closes up the gaps between materials. If you're looking for a cheap, effective way to permanently join parts, then riveting would be your choice. You also don't have a visible weld bead when using rivets. As well, if you are unsure which direction you should go in, reach out to our engineering and design service team can offer you some guidance. Well, that about does it for this week's Proto Tech Tip. All the information in this video is on our website. I also want to mention that here at Protocase, we are always here to help. If you have any questions, concerns, or just want to discuss your organization's design requirements, just simply contact us. We would love to help. Thank you for watching this week's video. See you next time.